Hello, my cornerstone compadres. This is Mr. Matt from Classroom 6 coming to you from Classroom 6. That's why I look like I'm about to, you know, uh, you know, uh, jump on a horse and ride through the range with my mask on. <laughs> Anyways, today we're talking about more U.S. history, which is just awesome. I love it. I hope you love it too. Okay, so anyways, um, we're going to go over the, the, the name of this story is The Costs of War. We're just going to explain why the um, U.S., how and why the U.S. got involved in uh, breaking away from the United Kingdom, okay, and establish how the USA came, came to be. Okay, so the first word, we have to go over the focus words. The first word is colonist. That's up, oh, there he is. Okay. Colonist. Okay, cancel. I don't know what I just did, but. All right, a colonist right here is somebody who comes on a ship, well, who comes to a new land and lives there. All right, a colony. Where is, oh, there it is right there. Colony. Right here. All right. It's like a little piece of land on a map. Or maybe it's a whole state. That, no, is, what is that, Pennsylvania? Not sure. Let me see. No, that's Connecticut, <laughs> I think. No, actually, it might be Pennsylvania. Yes, it is Pennsylvania. Ha, ha, ha. Shows you how much I know my geography. Okay, so the next word is country. So we go from colony to country. Where is country? It's going to be that flag stuck, stuck in it. There it is. It's a flag stuck in the landmass. Country. Yay! Wave the flag. Fight. Oh, I hate that word. <clears throat> Nobody, excuse me for clearing my throat. Nobody wants to fight, okay? At least I hope nobody wants to fight. Fight, okay? Two guys fighting it out. They do get it out. Dunk, 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 dunk. Okay, and the next word is king. The king with the crown his crown and his royal purple robe and his scepter which is like a stick with a it's like a gold stick with a little ball type ornament thing on the top of it and the land let's see where's the land yep here we are land that seems to be what all, a lot of the fighting is about or used to be about now it's I think it's about oil and resources. Okay, settle. Where is settle? Settle, settle, settle. I don't see it. Okay, well, basically, all right, you have to settle on land, okay? When you find the land, then you have to settle on it. You have to live there to build a house, find food and water, and settle there. Okay? Like, you know, you just settle. You do. This is where I'm going to stay. Okay, and the next word is soldier. And we saw a soldier before. Okay, and there he is little stick figure with the soldier's helmet on and his backpack and he's saluting you know where the salute comes from another little just obscure historical fact from mr Ant, uh, mr matt the history buff the salute came from all right back in the days when knights in shining armor okay that uh, i don't know if, you, if you've ever seen a knight they're covered from head to toe in metal a metal suit of armor and they had a visor that went over their eyes with like a little 
like a little slit so they you know a little a long hole so they could see out of now people didn't know who they were back then when they had that armor on i mean for the most part they um they knew who they were because they had they'd have like um uh engravings on their armor and they wore like um a coat of arms which was like a piece of cloth over their armor that had like a design on it so they they, they did they knew who they were but for some reason the salute you know when they wanted to pay their respects to the king they would lift up their visor they'd lift it up you know hey look it's me you know i guess they wanted to let the king know it wasn't an impersonator in the armor so that's where the salute came from lifting up the visor and now we just go like this you know okay i digress once again war huh. what is it good for absolutely nothing say it again okay war is bad business as we've talked about before and i can't see oh yes there is war over here yeah and actually let's zoom in on this this kind of makes me kind of perplexes me a little bit okay because this is the symbol for war right here right here and they have the soldier and he has his gun and then there's a tank in the background and there's a flag a red flag which you know means a bloody war and this soldier is almost smiling like he's having a good time <laughs> so i don't know okay so there you go now we've done the vocabulary words now on to the story okay first page the costs of war and you can see the picture of the crown of the king of great britain and you can see the coins the gold coins and the bag with more gold coins in it and it has this symbol on it right here you know this symbol right here uh, stands for pounds which is uh the english uh great Brit the english form of form of um, money we have dollars they have pounds okay so the united states of america was not always the united states before it became a country people in europe called it the new world because people in europe had never known it was there before it just got they just columbus bumped into it <laughs> on his way to india and it's like hey it's a new world you know but to the native americans the indigenous americans it was an old world but anyways the europeans thought it was a new world many people had to work together and fight to make it a new country all right so when we say many people we are talking about okay the Spanish Spain okay and the, Sp the Spanish had their colonies there's one right here and let's see one right here there was one right here down in Florida and one here down in Texas all right so and then the the uh, French you know had colonies too France you know, I don't know if you've ever seen the French flag, but it looks like this. France, all right, had colonies too. Mais oui, that's French for but of course. Okay, so French, the French had colonies right here. And I think that was it. Probably up north in Canada too. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that wasn't. Nope, 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 nope. Got that wrong. The French colonies were here. Oops. Here. Uh, hold on. Here, down in Florida, near, near Spain. Down here in Texas. Down here. All right. And then the British, the Red Star 
Here they are right here. They had colonies, okay, and the Dutch. Okay, they had colonies up here. All right. So there are a lot of interested parties <laughs> that wanted to have colonies in the United States. They wanted the land to expand their own countries. All right. During the 1600s, which was many, 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 so many, many millions of yesterdays ago. <laughs> okay, long time ago. Many people came to the New World from other countries, including Great Britain and France. They wanted to explore the land. They wanted to find new ways to make money. They wanted to choose their own religion. They wanted land of their own. All right, so let's see. Here's the land. Here's the symbol for religion. And here's the symbol for money. All right. Okay, so Native Americans already lived in the New World. They've been there for thousands of years. Okay, they farmed and hunted for food. People from Europe needed help to live on the new land. They didn't know where to. They didn't know what where to hunt for food. They didn't know what to grow in uh, the, uh, America. Some Native Americans helped the people from Europe. The Native Americans taught them how to live off the land. As more people from Europe came over to the New World, they took they took land from Native Americans. Okay, so here is a picture of a Native American helping someone, a, a European settler, grow corn. All righty. The people from Great Britain settled and lived together. These settlers built 13 colonies. Okay. Okay, 13 colonies. Let me show you what they were. <clears throat> okay, they were, this is a map of the 13 colonies, which is on the east coast of the United States. And they were Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, New York, um, New Hampshire, and believe it or not, okay, over here, Massachusetts is right here where it usually is, but at one time, uh, Maine was also part of Massachusetts. I'm not exactly sure how it became its own state, but Massachusetts once, once had a lot more land. And then little old Rhode Island, right here, that's us. We were one of the 13 colonies. And then Connecticut, where my friend Nick is from. All right. And then New Jersey, which is right here. Delaware, which is right there. Maryland, which is right there. Yep, the 13 colonies. All right. So, these settlers built 13 colonies along the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. And here's another, little, another map of them, unlabeled. A colony is a group of people who find a new area of land to build a settlement. The people who lived in the colonies were called colonists. They were ruled by the King of Great Britain. Okay, so they were ruled by the King of Great Britain. Crown meaning king, Great Britain, that's the flag. Right? Ta da! Interesting how a lot of countries use wear red, white, and blue, huh? <laughs> I wonder why that is. Okay. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so here we have 
a disgruntled, uh, an annoyed looking English person. All right. And over here we have an annoyed looking Native American. And over here we have an annoyed looking French man, Frenchman. All right. So let's see what they're annoyed about. The British colonists began spreading out. They wanted more land. They just went spreading out looking for more land because they probably kept having bigger and bigger families, more and more babies, bigger families. People from France also came and settled in the new land. The British colonists wanted the land that the French settlers took from the Native Americans, and that's why the Native Americans were unhappy. All right, they wanted more land from, they, they wanted more land, land from the Native Americans too. So the poor Native Americans had the English and the French wanting to take their land. Okay. All right, a fight began between the British colonists and the French settlers. This became known as the French and Indian War. Again, the Native Americans were mistakenly re referred to uh, as Indians, and they weren't Indians. Okay, so the Native Americans helped the French settlers fight against the British colonists. The King of Great Britain sent soldiers over to help the colonists. The British fought and won the war against the French and the Native Americans. Okay, so here was the United States back during the French and Indian War. And the blue area was all the area that the Spanish controlled, Spain controlled. And I wish I had a map of Spain, but I don't. French ter territory in green, this is all the territory that France controlled. Okay. Red, this was all the territory that the British controlled, England. All right. Purple, this was territory that the Dutch controlled. I wish I had a Dutch flag, but I don't. And I guess the rest of this wasn't really controlled by anybody but the Native Americans. All right. So. Uh-oh. Here is an, an annoyed-looking English soldier. And an annoyed-looking American colonist. Let's see what they're annoyed about. The King of Great Britain wanted the soldiers to stay and protect the colonists. The King did not let the colonists spread out to the land they won in the war. The King made the colonists stay where they were. So they weren't allowed to spread out to the land from the, that they won from the um, French in the French and Indian War. So this must mean they weren't able to cross this line here. That's why the colonists are upset because the English soldiers weren't letting them cross to new land. Here's another picture of the English crown, some money, and another annoyed looking American colonist. So let's see. The war cost a lot of money. The King of Great Britain wanted the colonists to pay for the war. He wanted the colonists to pay for the soldiers who stayed in the colonies. This made the colonists angry with the king because the soldiers weren't letting him spread out. All right, so you can see that the colonist is angry with the king because he was making them pay for the soldiers that were there and pay for the French, French and Indian War. Uh-oh. So here is a timeline. In May of 1607, which was many, 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 many yesterdays ago, the British made the first colony in the new land, which I guess was uh, Pennsylvania. That's interesting. I wonder why. September 1630, the city of Boston was founded, which is in Massachusetts, our next door neighbor, where I'm from. May 1756, all these dates are 
hundreds and hundreds, I mean, thousands, thousands, thousands of yesterdays ago, long time ago. May 1756, the French and Indian War began. February 1763, the French and Indian War ended. So the French and Indian War lasted seven years. Wow, that's a long time, huh? All right. Okay, now comes the part of the assignment where we see what we took into our brains, what we remember from the reading. People, number one, people from Great Britain built 13 what? What did they build? Let's see. 13 what? 13 war? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. 13 money? The people from Great Britain, Britain built 13 money? No. The people from Great Britain built 13 colonies? Indeed they did. Correct? Correct. Okay. We're on a roll. We're off and running. The blank of Great Britain ruled the colonies. The what of Great Britain? Let's see. The what of Great Britain are we talking yeah, about? Five, All right. So the, oops. Oh, I just love the way this zooms out and I have to zoom back in. Okay. So the what of Great Britain ruled the colonies? The war of Great Britain ruled the colonies? I don't know. The money of Great Britain ruled the colonies. Actually, I think Great Britain was, you know, Great Britain was getting the money from the colonies, right? To pay for their French and Indian War. The colonies of Great Britain ruled the colonies. The colonists of Great Britain ruled the colonies. The king of Great Britain ruled the colonies. There you go. And by the way, just so you know what the king of Great Britain looked like, this is a picture of him. King George. See him there with his white wig and his golden robes, his golden outfit. He had a long cape that was like fur and probably studded with, studded with, uh, with gold. Everything was gold with this guy it looked like, huh? And his knee socks. That was the style back then. Oh well, King George, Merry Old Soul. <laughs> Not to the American colonists. All right. The blank wanted more land. Who wanted more land? The war wanted more land? Nah. The money wanted more land? That doesn't make sense either. The colonies wanted more land? A piece of land doesn't speak for itself and say, I want more land. The colonists, the people who lived in the colonies wanted more land? Indeed. Okie dokie. Let me zoom in here. A what began over the land? What began over the land? What did they do because they wanted the land? A war began over the land? Oh. A money began over the land? Nah. Colonists, colonies began over the land? King began over the land? No, they started a war. They, oops. A war began over the land. The Revolutionary War. The American Revolution. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Uh, the French and Indian War began over the land. Okay. I, I, I misspoke myself. Sorry. All right. So the French and Indian War cost a lot of what? It cost a lot of king. It cost a lot of colonists. It cost a lot of money. Okay, it costs a lot of money to have a war. Yet another reason not to have them, right? They're expensive. Why can't people just talk things out? 
Okay. Okay, multiple choice. We have to choose a picture to answer the question. What is this chapter about? What is this story about? Is it about colonies? Tea? Queen? Well, Great Britain, Great Britain has a uh, has a queen now, not a king. That's Queen Elizabeth. But back during the Revolutionary War, back in the 1700s, 1600s, they had a king. So this chapter is about the colonies, wouldn't you say? Let's see. Colonies. All right. All right. Who ruled the colonies? Was it the colonists? Not at that time, they didn't. <laughs> Was it the Native Americans? Uh, nope. Was it the King of Great Britain? King George? The not-so-merry old soul? Yes, it was. Number three. Who? Who? Wanted more land. Was it soldiers? No, nah, they only do what they're told, soldiers. Was it buffalo? Those animals that you sometimes see in the zoo? You very rarely see them in the wild now. But that's a story for another time. The colonists? Did the colonists want more land? You bet they did. All right. What? Did the war cost a lot of? Did it cost a lot of sugar? They probably could have paid it in sugar. <laughs> sugar was worth a lot back then, believe it or not. Money. Did the war cost a lot of money? Did the war cost a lot of newspapers? You bet. It cost a lot of money. It cost a lot of money. What is important to know about this chapter? Let's see. The King of Great Britain liked tea. Ah, oh, yes, four o'clock. Time for tea. Let's see. A war began over the land. Hmm. Soldiers did not protect the colonists. No, they did. But a war did begin over the land. All these different countries wanting a piece of what is now the United States. Yowza. Okay, that's all we have time for today, Cornerstone friends. Thanks for listening to the story. And um, next comes the song. Bye. Okay, my Cornerstone peoples, it's time for the song. Love.
comes tumbling down. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. That's when my love begins to shine. She and I, baby. Midnight hour. In the midnight hour.